most people in America are looking at how can I make myself better, happier, and healthier. I just gave a reading to a quiet little family that was wanting to give me five dollars towards my ministry of faith. And openly, while I appreciated it, I gave them a good 20 minute prophetic reading. According to the grandmother, I hid absolutely everything that she had been telling her granddaughter, except for one thing, the granddaughter's age. Isn't that marvelous that the Lord knows all his children, regardless of where they are on their faith path? Isn't it great that God has highlighted when people trust in the house of the Lord? The reality of America is we must have a better way to listen to God, and if we don't do this, then we could end up in a life that's really odd. When I talk about things, when I talk about rhyme, when I talk about anything, what I want you to understand is that it's not a matter of time for me, it's a matter of faith for me. And what I do is I submit to God and I start listening to what the Lord says and I play it at you. And most of the time I get a 99% feedback of accuracy. The truth is I'm just the channel, I'm just the oracle, I'm just the medium, I'm just the psychic, I'm just the prophet. And openly, it's my faith in God that allows me to hear what Jesus wants the people in front of me to know and keep dear. But what people accidentally do is they go off and they tell a whole bunch of people about their reading, about their experience, and then they get tainted by doing that. I always tell people, the best that I can remember, that it's really important to keep what you've been told by God under your hat. Because those promises between God and you are between you and God solely. They don't belong in any gossip fodder because gossip is godless. 